Hi, welcome to How to Repair. This video is on a CDA oven that is not heating and how to replace the fan oven element. What we're doing is we've got the appliance on the test bench. The customer brought the appliance into us and complained that the electricity had tripped in his house and after resetting it there was no heat in the oven. So we've quickly just wired it up on the test bench and we set the thermostat to 100, left it run for about 10 minutes and there was no heat in the oven. This leads me to believe that it's the fan oven element as the fan is running and the thermostat light is coming on. The first thing that needs to be done is the appliance needs to be disconnected from the electricity. I would also recommend knocking it off at the mains or disconnecting the appliance completely from the electricity supply. You can either work in situ in its housing or you can remove the oven completely. I always recommend removing the oven and I also recommend removing the glass door to save any damage happening to the appliance. There are two clasps you can see me bending over towards the glass. Make sure that they're locked in place and by lifting the door up you will be able to get the hinges out of their slots. Now the door is off, remove the oven shelves and inside the oven you will find a back panel which covers the fan and also the element. This is held on with four screws on this model. Some models have two screws and some have retaining bolts. Just undo the screws and then the back panel will come off. Right, while I'm doing this you'll find a link on this video that will take you through to the full tutorial and we'll also put a link on the video which will take you through to all the CDA elements that we have for sale and if you can't find the element that you're looking for for your appliance please just email us your model number and we'll look it up on the database for you and direct you to the right part. Also please remember to subscribe to our channel as that's what keeps us going and able to make these free videos for you. You can also join us on Facebook. There we go, the panel has come off. Now you can see some distortion at the top of the element here and in the bottom right hand corner which is a good sign that the element has blown but we're going to check it with a meter in a minute. There are three screws holding this element in place, one at the bottom and two on the main bracket which you can see here. Once you've removed the two screws you'll then have access to pull the element towards you. Now on some models you will have nuts and bolts holding the element in place. If this is the case you will have to actually remove the oven to get at the rear to undo the nuts. Once the element is pulled out you will see two wires attached to the terminals. Just disconnect them but make sure that they do not fall back through the back panel as you will have to take the appliance out again to actually retrieve them. Now here you can see the element with the distortion on both sides. But what we'll do is using an electrical meter is set it to continuity and if the element is blown there will be no circuit. In other words no resistance at all. It will be open circuit. And as you can see on the meter there's no reading at all. Do remember, elements can blow in different ways. You may end up with an earth fault on the element, so when you're actually turning the fan oven on, it trips the electricity supply in your house, or it may just trip all the time. In this case, you will need to replace the element, and the only way to test it properly is with a mega, which most people do not have. Just testing the element here so you can see the comparison between the old and the new. and now we'll connect up the wiring and replace the element. If your oven is constantly tripping the electricity supply it might not necessarily be the actual fan oven element that's at fault. It could be another component or another element. While I'm putting this back in please remember to mark the website down to your favourites as we do all types of diagnostic repairs on all appliances and at the site you will have in-depth articles and videos showing you how to repair tumble dryers, washing machines, dishwashers etc. Just getting the last two screws in and then we'll reassemble the oven and I'll also show you how to put the door back on correctly. 
At the website you will find other tutorials on how to remove built-in ovens from their housing. Also we'll do videos for you on how to strip an oven door so you can clean the glass. And there's also other videos on how to change a thermostat, grill element and so on. Some of them are general, not on specific models, but it will give you a good idea how to go through the repair. Now when replacing this back panel, it's just an idea to get one screw in halfway and then you'll be able to adjust the panel uh, up or down just to line up the screws. Once you've got two in place, they should all line up. Again, while I'm uh, just finishing this back panel off, please remember to subscribe to our channel as that's what keeps us going and able to make these videos for you. And as I said earlier, you can join us at Facebook. And any questions that you have on Pacific Appliances, you can just ask through the YouTube uh, questions or you can come to the website and just send us an email through the contact us form. Right now, we'll replace the oven shelves. Now, when fitting the door, make sure that you get the hinges lined up in the correct location holes and that the bottom part of the hinge has got a slot in it which will sit in the retaining bracket. Lift it up and down a few times before letting the door go as to make sure it is locked in place correctly just in case you haven't done it correctly and then the door falls off and you could smash the glass. Now we're turning the oven on now to the fan setting, setting it at 100 again. Wait 5-10 minutes and you'll see the light should go out once it's reached temperature. There we go and when you go inside the oven it'll be nice and hot and you can actually see the element here glowing red as it's heating. And there you go, your oven's fixed. Thanks very much for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe to our channel on YouTube and also visit the website or join us at Facebook. We hope you found this video helpful and see you again. Thanks very much indeed for watching.